we're going to multiply matrices and the first thing we're going to do is c times e and we're going to use a calculator to multiply them so over next to the x squared button is the matrix button hold it down and select the third choice and then that'll let you choose any dimensions so remember that matrices are rows by columns The answer is called a resultant matrix, and notice the dimensions of your answer. So the commutative property is not true for matrices. So yes, we did C times E, and now we're going to do E times C, and they're not going to be the same thing. You can only multiply certain kinds of matrices. So a matrix is rows by columns, and you're going to take it times the next matrix, which is row by, rows by columns. And the two numbers in the middle have to be the same to be able to multiply matrices. If they're not the same, it won't work. Your resultant matrix is going to have the two outside dimensions for the answer. And so you take your first row and your last column, and that'll be your answer. B is a 4 by 2 matrix. B is a 2 by 5 matrix. Delta is going to be a 4 by 5 matrix. He has a 4 by 2 matrix. He has a 3 by 2 matrix. So you can't multiply those two together. See what happens when you try. So the answer is no solution. These are completely different matrices, and these just have the dimensions for each matrix. Remember, you got to do rows by columns, and the two middle numbers have to be the same, and your answer is the two outside numbers. The two middle numbers are the same, so the answer is a 3 by 4 matrix. Here the middle numbers are the same, so the answer is a 2 by 5 matrix. The middle numbers are both 2, so your answer is a 4 by 3 matrix. Here the middle numbers are not the same, so you cannot multiply them, so your answer would be no solution.